Everybody, welcome to another behind the scenes episode of uh, uh, Shine <laughs> stuff. Last time we discussed the Thunder Tube and what a stupid, silly thing it was. This time around, we will be discussing the Pockets in. This one's called like a stylophone. In most modern productions, if you listen to a lot of the hippity hoppity scribbity scrabbity ribbity rap or even like a lot of pop, there's uh, there's 808 bass drums. I wanted something that kind of filled in the low end the way that an 808 would, but I didn't want to use sampled instruments or things that were in the software, at least when I first started. So this synthesizer was my solution. I didn't actually play this. This pen is the stylus that you push down on these keys here with, and that's what makes the notes happen. The only problem with that is it's really fucking hard to like hit the hit the notes or do like rhythms and things. So for the most part, I just didn't do that. I recorded this first and then transposed all the notes to the right things. You know, maybe it's cheating. Sure. I don't care. It's a hard instrument to play with other instruments, which is probably why I just recorded it and then transposed it. It was easier for me. Now this has a couple of different options. There is actually like a headphone out on this thing so that you could plug it directly into uh, an interface. I chose not to do that just because I've had kind of mixed results with this audio output in the past. I just recorded straight from this little speaker. This, this little, th this thing right next to the microphone is what gave me all the bass sound that I needed. I guess also on the back here, there's like a tuning wheel. That's a, that's a stupid, a stupid thing you can do. There are some other features on this that I didn't really, didn't really use. There's like a, a vibrato. It makes it wobbly. I didn't want fucking wobbly bass. And these numbers here, I did the one. So it uh, kind of cuts out some of the high end information and makes it a little more bassy. And then I adjusted things, I transposed a lot of stuff. That's how I was able to get a bass sound. All of the kind of sub bass sounds, which sounded like this. Besides that, there's not too much about this really. It runs on double A batteries. Do you have double A batteries? You can operate this synth. So this has been the pocket synth, which provided most of the really low end bass sounds for Shine. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode in which we're gonna talk about something that's incredibly important and I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. Oh my God, you're gonna be amazed. See you next time. Bye. I've lost my